Okay, this is the midday recap of the Folklore Gaming series so far. Now, in the prologue, we were introduced to the characters of Ellen and Keats. Ellen was, or is rather, a 17-year-old girl. She has recently been abandoned by her mother, received a mysterious letter telling her to go to Doolin Village, and like a good, responsible young adult, she has followed up on this message, abandoned her home in England, and has crossed the great seas to go to the uh, village of Doolin in Ireland with its mysterious circumstances. The other character, Keats, who we have also been introduced in the prologue, is quite different in nature. A lot older than Ellen, we're never really told his actual age, only that he works for the magazine called Unknown Realms, and that recently this magazine is maybe not the best in the world, and he's the editor. So in pursuit of a brand new story to revamp, you know, and bring some target audience back to the magazine, Keats received an odd, very strange phone call that had a woman down the line basically saying, they're going to kill me, they're going to kill me, come to Doolin Village. So Keats being, again, a responsible journalist who only pursues the truth, straight away hounded down this message and has as well travelled to Doolin, and thus their paths do meet. By the time the prologue continues, we have the two characters witnessing a woman, possibly after she's been killed, falling off a cliff and dying. So we're left in an odd situation. The prologue then goes on from there to obviously bring in additional characters like Balage for Keats, possibly Scarecrow for Ellen. But again, if you want to see all of the prologue and catch up with where it's going there, you know, the introduction of the first murder victim again all that's in the prologue we are left at a bit of a cliffhanger at the early stage a cliffhanger which he has continued on into chapter one in chapter one we get to have a proper conversation with the recently deceased we are able to help her younger daughter Suzette and we are also able able to find out that Ellen has a possibly closer tie to this land than is previously intended as well as, of course, showcasing our amazing powers and skills, which we would have we have shown in the prologue, and developed in chapter one. As far as the stories is concerned, chapter one provided us with more questions than answered, than those answered, and put us onto a new lead. Having run out of leads, we had to follow the direction of who this fellow called Ryan is, if he's still alive, and what he how he relates to the death of the young lady called Regine, and her husband Ronaldo, and possibly their son Herv. And so we're brought back to chapter two. Chapter two, very, the most recent one and the, the chapter which we did for the series last week, was based purely around the idea of who this fellow Ryan was. We, were, we visited the unique fairy realm of Warcadia, which understandably a clue to the name, was filled with military-esque fairy. We find out more about the story as well as the subcontextual plot, that it's not just a matter of a simple murderer in the village, but it's possible that there's a grander scheme afoot, that the fairy lord is involved, as well as a lady called Leveri, or something along those lines, who is the leader of the rebels. Me, playing the main character of Keats, has seemingly sided with the rebels, while Ellen is the Grand Messiah or Messenger Champion of the Fairy Lord. This gave us the first glimpse into how this battle is going, as well as finding out a little bit more about the, ta the story of the trappings of what happened 17 years ago in the town of Doolin. It appears that our young lady, Ellen, may be more closely related to the action, the catastrophe that happened on Sam Samharin Day. 17 years ago, as well as the, the suggestion of the hag's involvement. More questions have been provided than answers. And that is where we start as we go into chapter 3, which is from the point of view of Keats. So, let's get going on it, shall we? Shall we? Come on, man. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. There we go. Good bit of song and dance there. And we're in. Okay. As you can see, I'll just that's a quick recap of what happened in the second chapter. You know, where lies the roots of this murder from 17 years ago? To find the answer to that, Keats is plunging headlong into Warcadia. Wait, what? Chapter 3 is about Warcadia? Well, we did mention that we didn't get all the page pages from Warcadia, didn't we, in the last, you know, chapter. Again, I've said a great deal about those chapters, but it's better you go back and check them. Okay, I also do voiceovers. So Ryan wants to tell him. So Ryan wants to tell Mr. Lester, the fairy is back. What does that mean? Yeah, I know. My curiosity will be the death of me one day. <laughs> but I can't seem to tear myself away from this case. No, we can't. So let's go and see Dr. Lester's response. After all, he's been hiding in that little house of his for 17 years, while his wife has seemingly been living on the doorstep. Ask his wife first, see what she has to say. My husband is still the same. He won't come out of his room. Well, we'll see about that, love. We'll just go and do home invasion now that we've travelled far enough into the quest. Storyline. Oh, he doesn't look a day old, older. He doesn't even wear his lab suit thing. The fairy is back. Someone told me to give you this message. Mm. The fairy in the village? Is this some kind of prank? It's no such thing, I assure you. Wait, the fairy? Heavens, no! Could she be? Hmm. Who could that be? I really don't have time to. She looks a bit drugged up, don't she? Ah. Uh, you! Uh, apologies, Keats. Please come back tonight. Of course. Takes a closer look at Ellen. Looks like you're gonna be that guy's booty call tonight. Mmm, yeah. There's some sick practices. Mate, she's underage. I'm gonna have to check Irish folk, Irish uh, rules about underage stuff, but uh, I'm pretty sure theirs is the same as we are in the UK. There's something strange about Dr. Lester's reaction. Yeah, there is. There's something about Ellen. Of course there is. We all fall in love with those hot beauties. But she's too young, Keats. The age gap is too big. Ah oh, well. He's told me to come back come tonight. So I suppose he's ready to talk to me. Good God. Good God. There's some sick people out there. Think Dr. Less is a bi? I wouldn't put it past him. He's been in that, in that room for God knows how long. Naughty old man. Naughty old man. Right. Let's go see how it's going down. We've invited to someone's house after dark. <laughs> yeah. Right. That, wait, what? Midnight rendezvous, is it? Is Dr. Lester out? Ah, Mr. Keats, is, was it? Please, could you please find my husband? I can't find him anywhere in the village. He almost never leaves the house. I'm so afraid that something has happened to him. Suzette has gone to the lighthouse and beach. Then there's the henge. Okay, I'll help you. Guess he's at the henge. Right, is there anything else we can rob, like accidentally glowing stuff? No. Nope. Apparently there's no upstairs in this house as well, which is a bit misleading. I think there's a secret room, because there's clearly an upstairs light. Alright, we're going to go straight to the hen, screw the beach and all that crap. There's going to be no one there. Wait, wait. Told you. Is the doctor here? No, I can't seem to find him anywhere. 
I searched the beach. I'm heading to the Henge. That's such a frightening place. No one goes there. Especially not at night. Hopefully it's not that bad. Which reminds me. Isn't Ellen looking as well? I haven't seen her. She isn't at home. Right, let's go to the Henge. Looks like Ellen's going to be a problem. Damn it, Dr. Lester. What about our midnight rendezvous? Bastard. They always sell us out at the last minute. Oh, shit. Is it, it looks a bit like a dead body. Who? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Fuck. It's the hag. The hag fucking killed the doctor. Who is going to heal anyone in the village? Jesus Christ. He's dead. Is he dead? Indeed. Time Who indeed? Time for the mystery entrance. guest to make an entrance. What? Is that even linked to your last sentence? Did I miss something? So I said, is he dead? Where, where was that other line? Ugh, uh, bollocks. Next day. Because there wasn't enough action during the night. Dr. Lester! Uh, my goodness, what happened? He was murdered. By whom, I don't know. The hag, it must be her. Is he the guy who turns into a mist like uh, the uh, waiter butler at night? Guess he must be. The hag? Yes, old woman. You've read one too many fairy tales. No, it's true. A strange woman has been lurking around. Ellen, perhaps your coming has triggered all of this madness. Could be Ke you, Keats. Yes, it could be us. <sighs> or perhaps it is fate. <laughs> Keats, you sick bastard. People are dying, man. Man up, damn it. Man up. She's just inherited a small fortune. So why was the doctor killed? What could the motive have been? It looks like I need to have a long conversation with Miss Lester. Possibly into the night, you filthy old man. You're like a gold digger. Keats, you're a gold digger for unknown realms. I want to look into your husband's death. Ellen came here yesterday. Just w what was her relationship with the doctor? A relationship that got her killed? Helen, you filthy girl. I... I don't know. She reminded my husband of Cecilia. Good God, there was a string of affairs, wasn't there? And he was muttering Cecilia's name. Cecilia? She was friends with Herb. She's been dead for, oh, 17 years too. More dead people. Isn't there anyone still alive here? Oh, oh Keats, your morbid comedy. Not the, r n too soon, my friend, too soon. I can't take much more of this. I'm sorry. I think that's enough for today. You must be tired too, Mr. Keats. Thank you for looking for my husband. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I should be getting back. Thought she was going to offer me a bed. Yesterday was busy. I'm ready to drop. Go back for the night or explore. Remember what happened last time we didn't take a nap, so... It's not like we'll find anything in the village. Do 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 This is a prime place to stop the recording. So... Oh, we're going to be doing this monkey tantrum again, are we? God, 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 come on. Come on. There we go. See you in the next episode, my dear friend.